What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome back to Frog Detective. We are in Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Maybe our magnifying glass can help us see this invisible being, but let's see how this plays out. I had so much fun playing through the first Frog Detective game. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go watch it. It should have been yesterday's video. Yes, I will look around. Ah, uh, the original adventure. <gasps> Wait, I must grab the magnifying glass. Uh, I gotta answer the phone first. Sure, sure. Is it Chief? <laughs> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. <gasps> Supervisor. <laughs> Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about the new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I uh, hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. <laughs> Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. Shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house. Doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly. So they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. <laughs> That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. <laughs> Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy! You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. You think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. <laughs> ah, that was loud. And a wizard. <laughs> so sorry to headphone users. <laughs> An invisible wizard. <laughs> cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible? de invisible Uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Mmm, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass! Ah, of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, detective. Oh, oh boy, a new mystery to solve. <gasps> Our magnifying glass. Ah, uh, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. <laughs> well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. You got your magnifying glass. We all got our magnifying Wait, what happens if I, do, if I put the magnifying glass <laughs> up to my camera? Will it actually focus? Hello? Focus! No, it didn't quite work. Oh no, now I'm stuck blurry? No, it's fine. We got this thing. Look, this was this was our, our previous <laughs> our previous adventure. All of our friends. Every single one of them. This I think this was the original game or something. I never played that one. It's not part of this frog detective, the full mystery game that's on Game Pass. That's where I'm playing this. In case anyone's curious. Uh oh! Oh, it's the number one detective! <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Lobster cop. Oh my gosh, he's just sprinting for us. <laughs> what is happening? Yes? Lobster cop. Ah, it's the famous frog detective. Oh, f famous? 
I I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Uh oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yeah, I've noticed. I've been there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. <laughs> and then I say, I am a crime solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually, you're gone already. <laughs> Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. <gasps> You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Uh, even you. I will sus suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Uh, I'm not really big on it, books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. <gasps> wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use too. <laughs> I bought them with all my crime solving money. Cool, I'll let you get to it detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. Sick. We get, ooh. <laughs> Lobster Cop. It's got the absolute craziest office I've ever, ever seen. I wonder what this mystery is. Or this one? Is that a horse in a tree? <gasps> you spotted a real ghost? Hot tub with aliens? Lobster cop. Your reputation is immaculate. Wow, he's in the fairy forest. Look at that happy little bee. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've met frogs that can wear hats? And you haven't bothered to tell me the secrets of how to put a hat on top of my strangely shaped head. You know this is an issue that I deal with, Lobster Cop. You know, everybody knows. Everybody in my life knows. I'm so offended right now. <gasps> Notebooks with stickers. Let's pick it up. Uh, hmm, which stickers should I pick and where should they go? Good question. Oh. I like the gator. Reminds me of, uh, reminds me of later alligator, which that's a great game, by the way. If you want another like a detective fun game like that, like this, later alligator, it's on my channel here. It's really, really fun, really inventive. Um, mm, we just have a whole, oh, I like cactuses too. Right there in the end. Notes. <gasps> Alien in the sky? Put you in the corner. Great. Here. Mm, cowboy boots. <gasps> cowboy boot for the cactus. Are there more boots? Oh, there's another boot. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can't rotate it from that angle. So I have to bring it here and then go like this and then bring it on over. Same thing with you, I gotta rotate you like that and then put you right there. Yeah, yeah, look at that cactus, that cowboy cactus. Oh, we, we know that I love my magnifying glass. So obviously we gotta keep it right here. Front and center, front and center. I feel like Mr. Frog would love achievements. So we can uh, grab our little trophy. What is, what is this? 
It's kind of a good fit, but I don't know if I like it. Oh. Oh, what about an egg? <laughs> I like eggs. Eggs are pretty good. <gasps> uh, love. A little, a little heart on my trophy. Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. A little spoder. You can just chill out. <gasps> oh, my starfish friend from our last detective story. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, so I have two of every, or two of almost every sticker. Um, mm, get a little wormy worm. I feel like the worm would be down here playing in the in the sunflower dirt. Get some eggs. I guess I'll throw an egg on here. Oh, I didn't even see you. That's me. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing, hats. But it's a terrible, terrible tragedy that I still haven't figured out how to wear one. I don't know what you're supposed to be, but I'll put you there. Nice little house plant. I think that's good. And, uh... You know, I think, I think we're, we're pretty close to being done. This is bothering me a little, so I'm gonna move these over just a, just a, just a tad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> good book? Yep. I think it's perfect. <gasps> we got a notebook! Amazing. Open your notebook with tab. Ah. Magnifier, notebook, my things. Invisible wizard, suspicious. <laughs> and nothing else yet, so that's fine. So let's talk to, uh, let's talk to the lobster cop. Let's see what he's got for us. <laughs> How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know, just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm all done, buddy. I guess it's off to go find out this mysterious invisible wizard. <gasps> the chief, lobster cop, and me. All right, let's go. Time to solve another mystery. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Got a little Tapo Chico seltzer water. Mm, mm. Bubbly water to help me with this case. Oh, spooky. <laughs> the weird wagon. <laughs> I love it. Super hot presents. <laughs> the close up we all wanted. <gasps> no wagons beyond this point. What a tragedy. Oh, venturing off on our own into the Warlock Woods. The music is so good in this game. So jazzy, I love it. <gasps> Starring the detective. <gasps> Susan. So we got some new characters. Ralph. Mandy. Mary. And several more characters. <laughs> Perfect. Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Awesome. Well, I'm ready to get into this new case, this new mystery. So much to solve, so much to do. We all know that's magnifying time. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The Warlock Schwoods. Well, people have been partying it up out here. They got their red solo cups. I can only mean one thing. Doritos. <laughs> Following close behind to this party place. It's not so much of a haunted woods as it is a party woods. All right, well, let's talk to the very first person we see. Oh, I like your snoot. You got a nice snoot. <laughs> and you have a cool hat. You got a cool little wizard hat. Wizard hat? Surely this can't be. Surely! Let me take a closer look at you. Let me take a closer look through my double magnifying glass. Let's talk to you. <clears throat> Naughty. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? 
Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like... Like this? Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. <laughs> anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Hmm. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. No, I would have asked for a lobster cup. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. <laughs> Stop listening! <laughs> okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Well, I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Now, I'm just doing Kermit now at this point. About last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Uh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Mm-hmm. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Uh-huh. And... She is a wizard. Uh, I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> right, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know. Uh, about the wizard. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, oh, heck, how do I answer this? <laughs> well, I'm happy she's here. But, oh, look at that little bug. The house has been empty for ages. And I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. <laughs> anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night. And I, well, I thought she was a ghost. Ah. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. <gasps> with a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. <laughs> I think I really freaked her out. No, she won't come out of the house. Mm. Please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. The jail isn't real. <laughs> well, you should probably apologize. Okay. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right. Yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no! Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Do you have any more questions? Hmm. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, nothing right now. I'm off to investigate even more. Naughty. Motive. Tried to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Notes. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor? Question mark, question mark. Hired a cool band to play the parade. Attacked the wizard. Sounds a little suspicious just because of your wizard hat. No, it's fine. All right, well, thanks for telling me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Look at this little guy! There he goes. <laughs> well, okay, so we got Lion Man with the eye patch. Cool doggo out there. <gasps> what is this? Is this a little pie? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Oh, we got a pie. Incredible. Ah, my things. A lost pie. Just one. Just one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you over there. Try not to bother you. Wait a second. I just now really. Hello, is anyone home? Sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. Come back another time. Oh. Okay, I can see you. Oh, it's the invisible wizard! Duh. <laughs> I just realized in the first game, I saw someone hiding behind a rock. I don't know who that was. Oh. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. Another pie? So that's two pies for us. Incredible. 
just incredible. Oh, Mr. Zebra, hello. Miss, no, Miss? Rhino? Something Rhino. Yeah, pretty eyelashes. I mean, boys can have pretty eyelashes too, but who knows? More pies. Okay, we got three pies now. Three lost pies to be exact. Oh yeah, that's a lot of pies. So many pies lost to time. Oh, so cute. Oh, oh, <laughs> groovy. Is there another pie around here? I'm hot on the case looking for pies. Nothing can stop me. No one can stop my pie venture. All right, all right. Let's go talk to the next person here. Let's go to you, little kitty lady. Susan. Oh my stars, it's you. It's me, the famous lobster cub. <laughs> I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. Uh, I am not Lobster Cop. Uh, why not? I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Ah, huh? I didn't know that was how it worked. <laughs> you should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me though, to remove all doubt. Okay, question me all you like. <laughs> well, let's hear about the wizard. You're already suspicious in my eyes. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. <laughs> right, right. Poison, poison for Cusco. Uh, but I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade, and I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. Mm -hmm. So you were fine with her moving to town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice. Someone wants to live there. It needs lots of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. <laughs> I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. I feel so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Some great advice, life lessons from Frog Detective. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. <laughs> Especially me? Oh no, sorry, not sure why I said that. <laughs> but you're not off the hook just yet. Hook, that's it? Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Eh, okay, I'll do my best. Question me all you like. <laughs> all right, let's see. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yes, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit, it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it just goes everywhere. Because <laughs> she's a cat. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Crush me all you like. That's it. All right. Talk to you later, Susan. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign, destroyed 
the parade out of, wait, maybe she didn't like her sign, destroy the parade out of embarrassment, needs something to fix her sign. It's just, she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Oh, wrong button. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. Mm -hmm. Very suspicious indeed. Okay, let's keep on uh, rocking. Let's talk to Rhino. What's your name? Mary. La! Oh, la la la! Hello? Hello! Frog! <laughs> Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary! Nice to meet you. You too! Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night! Oh, uh, are you okay? I'm tired! <laughs> huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe! <laughs> you sing very loudly. Yep! I'm why everyone's soundproof their houses. <laughs> that sounds expensive. <laughs> yeah, but that's not really my problem. <laughs> I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I could just imagine my neighbors downstairs are like, what is Jacob screaming right now? It's 10 p.m. <laughs> That's when my energy is the highest. She sounds a lot like me. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> my health is my business. <laughs> oh, yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Step, step. That will be 100 money. <laughs> I don't have any hair or any money. <gasps> that's okay. You can pay me back later. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. <laughs> this is perfect. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. <laughs> uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? Uh, I'm a detective. Right! This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so, I didn't do any crimes or anything, and I have the right to remain silent! <laughs> yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never! <laughs> so, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Manny was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? <laughs> I think so. Rats. <laughs> oh boy, I love questions. <laughs> She's singing her heart out. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. Uh, you were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? <laughs> yes, that's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. <laughs> I am above the law. <laughs> oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. <laughs> oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! What will you give me in exchange? Information? <laughs> what kind of information? A phone number! Uh, who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. <laughs> Sorry! It's okay, we all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. 
Oh boy, I love questions. <laughs> this is great. This is great. <laughs> I love Mary. <laughs> Motive? Perhaps the wizard has a uh, is a better singer than her. Needs five money. See what these notes are. Sings really loud all the time. Everyone soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. It's extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> suspicious. Everybody's suspicious in these parts. Hmm. Look inside your apartment, your house. Everything looks pretty, pretty tame, pretty normal. <gasps> Hello, wizard. Wizard? <laughs> Wizard? <gasps> look at you. Look at you go, little boy. Little spider. Oh, he's not a spider. He's got six leggies. It means there's something else. Something else entirely. I see frog money here. <laughs> Hello. Which means, oh, a broom, just like in our first adventure. Hello, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> That's the noise you make. Oh, another starfish. <gasps> and there's the toothpaste. Oh, oh, and the shell. These are all the things from the first game. All right, yeah, let's talk to you. Carlos, a customer. Welcome to Carlos's all things you could need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop, that's me. <laughs> How cool is that? Shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh no, I'm the Frog Detective. It's not really a name though, more of a title. Huh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> my shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited as a societal construct, we have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. <gasps> you know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know, he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. <laughs> oh, um, I don't think... It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. Yeah, that was Larry the lobster. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Ah, uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well, agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Mm, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? Hmm, the night in question. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? Hmm? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. <laughs> Years of training. <laughs> I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. You ever take breaks? Hmm. Sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but it takes so much joy for my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Hmm. Uh, the crime? <laughs> huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> what would you like to know? The wizard. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Hmm. Who? The invisible wizard that j moved in literally next door? Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. <laughs> that place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? <laughs> the parade that everyone has been prepping for? Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? <laughs> this conversation is a roller coaster of information. <laughs> I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? <laughs> no, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, uh, okay. Uh, oh dear, the party hats. Huh, pardon? 
Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. Wow, embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order the, order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. <laughs> what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Fortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? Oh, that's all for now. Thanks, Carlos. What a guy. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs party hat. Notes. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Pretty suspicious. Oh! There's a developer again. Pretty suspicious of you that you don't know anything. Well, you have just really bad memory loss. <clears throat> who are you? Who are you? I need to know who that was. <laughs> who is this little gremlin running around? <sighs> You're the one with the nachos, the chips. <laughs> chips, they yummy. <laughs> Trademark. Oh, the other pie! <gasps> it's you. You are the pie master. I gotta keep my eye on you. What you doing here in this hot tub? Victor. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. <laughs> what a hop, man. Uh, a little bit. But I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor, who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Cause like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. Mm. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, Nadi. Ah. She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there was gonna be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. <gasps> Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <laughs> can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions about the wizard. Let's see what we have to ask. Did you know much? about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Mm-hmm, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. And knowing that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. Huh? I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. First time they even threw me a parade. <laughs> yes, okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. <laughs> Sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do? Supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. But probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job. And I'm a frog. And I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one! Hmm? You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade? Um... Uh, I think because he has an eye patch on. <laughs> I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. <laughs> Not until I solve this mystery. Mm, I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I'm here. <laughs> right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. 
Please take one money as an apology. Ooh! We got one money. Questions? I have a lost pie for you. Let's talk about last night, though, first. Where were you when the braid was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Naughty's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. So I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Naughty's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Naughty's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Okay. Here's a, here's a last pie. You want a last pie? Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. <laughs> I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. Mm. That's right, Detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. You just happen to find it on the ground. It cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy's. Okay, I'll do that. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Chimino Lockdra, gross. What were you thinking? Um, let's see what we got. Victor. <laughs> Motive. Hadn't eaten. Could have been jealous of the braid. Need something to eat. Notes. What do we got? Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. But maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here. Only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Pumpkinville sounds great, to be honest. Okay, only two more people to talk to. Apparently. Can't go into this building. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. <laughs> Might be difficult for you to hear. <laughs> I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> you can hear me at this volume. <laughs> yes. Weird. Give it a John Mulaney kind of voice. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you're so small. <laughs> I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Question me, huh? Yeah, about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Uh-huh. I'd been eyeing, off, been eyeing off that old house for ages. Thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. <laughs> I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Question of me, huh? Uh, about your eye, how'd you lose it? Hmm? May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. <laughs> oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. <laughs> that shouldn't make me suspicious. <laughs> you put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels. Never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. 
Yeah, anyway, I was watching a Pyro movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. All right, uh, nothing right now. Okay, we're getting through with this mystery. Ralph. Ralph. Motive. Potential. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Notes. Loves pirates. Eye patches cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and only one more person to interrogate. And that is you. And I got all your pies, lady. I like your sunglasses. Mandy, you're the detective, right? I don't know a voice to give her. I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to a mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh. I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. <gasps> Suspect number one! My buzzer's going off. Bing, bing! <laughs> That's not a buzzer, but works. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess. But first, I need to find all my pies. <gasps> what your pies? Seeing that it happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Mm, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. I have your pies, but I'm gonna ask about last night. First, where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. <laughs> Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens. Trademark. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes, but you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. Oh, I think I know who Dizzy Wizzy might be. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then, I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night. So I couldn't see much. But they were carrying a large box. Couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. Felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. <laughs> Ever since Mary has taken off singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess this morning. Interesting. Tell me what tell me what you want to know. <gasps> I have your pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up. I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. <laughs> I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks. I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. <laughs> what were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies! Right, you offered to help and pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat, thanks detective. Uh, well, I have your pies. I have all three of them, in fact. Mandy! Detective. Oh, <laughs> I got this backwards. I found your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only two left to find. I'll hop to it, wait, what? There's two more pies. There's two more pies laying around? Interesting. Mandy. Cool shades. Motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps. Took it out on the parade. Needs help finding her five pies. Notes. Last night was on Wizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Scold me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. I would think that maybe the only witch in town doesn't want another witch. Look at that, another pie. Okay, I guess I wasn't as...
keen-eyed as I thought I was, trying to find all these lost pies. There's one more to go. One more piece of the pie. Of course, it's right there. <laughs> I thought I saw something weird over here. A lost pie! Yay! Okay. That's all of them. Two lost pies. Perfect. Well, Mandy, do I have the surprise of a lifetime for you? You thought you were excited about four pies. How about six in total? Give item. Pies. Found all your pies. Uh, all of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity. Yes. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. Oh, didn't she? Wasn't she going to give me a pie as well? Uh, I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. <gasps> I got a fresh pie. Awesome. Well then, I have two monies. No, no, two money and a fresh pie. So now we can give that. <gasps> Perfect. Amazing baker. We can go give it to Victor. He needs something to eat. Victor. I got a pie for you. A fresh one, in fact. Questions. Here's a fresh pie for you, Victor. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. I, I forgot the voice already. <laughs> For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you for Mandy. It's not from the ground. Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep. Please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Ah, wow. Thank you. <laughs> It's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it? Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. <gasps> I know who the party hat belongs to. Carlos. All right, pie is gone, party hat is in, and... Checked off. Let's go to Carlos. Carlos, buddy old pal. I got a sweet party hat with your name on it. What would you like to know? Party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. <gasps> One more money. <laughs> no. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Oh. Ah, the rug for the mayor. I'll find a use for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. Crap, I don't <laughs> remember the mayor's voice now. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. <laughs> don't remember all these voices I'm doing. All right, then Carlos checked off. Anything new? Oh, no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I even invited to this parade? I hope so. <laughs> Perfect. All right, got you your goods. All right, Mayor, I got something for ya. Oh, that's right, it was like Kermit. Tell me what you wanna know. <laughs> Great news. What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole. This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish. Bingo. 
Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, <laughs> they're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve this mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Uh? I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Building supplies. Sure, I'll take it. Plus, one money. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. <laughs> I got one money. Perfect. Four monies, no rug, building stuff. And naughty, checked off anything here? Long snoot, ah, oh, it's the same word I used. It's not just a snout, that's a snoot. Take a look at that snout. You extorted me. You need a hook. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Hello, guess what I have for you? Building supplies. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them. If you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a money. <laughs> Got one money. Cool. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of honorary pirate. Wow. <gasps> Am I gonna get a hook? Really? Me, a pirate? Yeah. <laughs> you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. A oh, little guy. Wow. What do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really, really know why I said that. All good, enjoy the hook. <laughs> cool. One more money for five monies total. No more building stuff, and we got a little pirate hook. And then Ralph checked off. Anything else? Nothing else at the moment. Okay. Well, I think I've got all of your monies, but I'd rather give you the hook first. Susan, question me all you'd like. I'm back. You're back. Yep. I found your hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. <laughs> Welcome. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive, and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Interesting. Ah, it's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too, oh. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. <gasps> oh, the phone, I forgot. Okay. Susan's all done. Wow. We got a cool little phone. I have no one to call, though. <laughs> hmm, who should I call? I don't have any friends to call. <laughs> sad. So sad. Let's take a closer look at this picture. Hmm? Okay. All right. You're the, the final one. The, f the, the, the <laughs> Oh, boy. I love questions. <laughs> All right, you extorted me. Here's the money. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? <laughs> I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney's the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. <laughs> we got a phone number. Thanks for giving me this money. 
I'm really excited to visit Froggy Wood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. <laughs> Incredible. <gasps> no more money, but a phone number. Mm. And Mary, all done. Cool. Extortion complete. Let's call up this mystery mailman, mystery postman, and uh, figure out who he saw while he's delivering the postage. Mysterious number. Barney. Like his little alien guy. Bring. Pick up the phone, Barney. Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Mm, lobster cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. <laughs> Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. Calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. It wasn't me. Are you sure? <laughs> what did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a braid which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh uh, yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Mm -hmm. What was her name? Ah, uh, Lola. Huh, I don't think there's anyone in town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. Address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah, I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the WizBay.net headquarters. <gasps> that sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. It's the Invisible Wizard. Not even a face. Huh. Weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. Pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there was any clues left behind? Signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. <gasps> okay. Strange. Very strange. Barney. Motive. Accidentally crashed his van into the decorations, drove away without realizing. Cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. I should search near the Warlock Woods entrance for the thing that dropped. Okay. Well, obviously we know that the Whiz Bay delivery went to the new wizard in town who bought the shoes. Stole them from her. I think we got this. Oh. A pair of glasses, huh? This weren't there earlier. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm. They're glasses. Got some glasses. Okay. Well, let's figure out what to do now. Ah! They have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Well, isn't that convenient? I know exactly where that is! This is a very big house. Hello, wizard. Cool, we can actually go in. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. Loading. Uh -huh. The invisible schwizzard. Pies? Moving boxes? Or maybe these are from... Hello! <laughs> Maybe these are from Wizbay. Oh! Hello? Oh! I love it. I see you. Ba boom boom. Ba boom boom. Doom doom. Ba boom boom. 
Got the Doritos on the floor. Pies all around. A broom? A broom, broom. Okay, let's talk to the invisible wizard, do I know? So strange, so suspicious. A coat hanger, too? Very odd. Mm hmm? Uh oh! <laughs> Wizard disappeared right in front of my eyes! How strange. Check this door. That didn't work. Oh! I see your little wizard hat! <laughs> Get back here! Can't hide from me! I'm guessing you're over here now, huh? Ah, uh, I knew it. Oh, door's open for us. <gasps> the wizard underground. <laughs> frogs? You like frogs? Does that mean you like me? You also like pies. What's in here? Oh, wizard things. Oh, the magnet, the fish, the bug. Man, you leave a mess around here, little wizard. Invisible wizard. Ah! <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. Uh, I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Uh, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> yeah, well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. Sorry to tell you that last night, someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. <laughs> Where were you last night? I was on Wizbay. <laughs> I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. <laughs> I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Uh, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy, evil guy, my enemy. Evil guy. Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy, <laughs> your enemy. Yes. <laughs> Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved, we did it. Well done, wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended. But at least we can continue with our lives. <laughs> Lola, are you being dishonest? Mm, yes. I'm really sorry, it was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? Ah, I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. <laughs> what happened when you got home? I had some chick chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. They didn't tell you anyone? Why? Oh, sorry. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and I'm already, I've already have made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady, detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. Must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yeah, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Un-invisible? Visible? If you insist. Are you a frog? <gasps> you're a frog! Ta-da! Oh, you're a frog like me. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you're revealed to be a lizard. Oh, no. Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Uh, okay, it's me, uh, a lizard. 
Wow. So you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard. <laughs> yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Mm, detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they will be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. <laughs> when we go outside, can you please tell them that it was the evil guy? But that's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who is, har who is it harming, really? <laughs> evil guy! Evil guy isn't real! <laughs> this is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Per... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Peroy? I think it's a French thing. Uh, it's your choice, detective. I know it's a show. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Let's face the music. Perfect. Okay, classes are gone. The Invisible Wizard. Motive. Lost your glasses, totally did the crime. No real motive, but still the culprit. Needs glasses. Check. Notes. Shy lady. A frog. Just moved in, made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy. Wants me to tell the town it was Evil Guy. You are the suspect. Very suspicious. Loading. See what we get. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I am a frog, just like me. We're so glad you can make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. <laughs> Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, you don't tell her that. Mandy. Oh, what voice did I give Mandy? We're sorry that somebody destroyed Lola. Detective has been trying to figure out who did it. <laughs> well, Detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. <laughs> Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I don't. Ju I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> Go ahead, detective. Evil guy did it or Lola did it. Mm. We are a frog of moral standing and we're detective after all. We care about the facts. <laughs> well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Whizbay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm, I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I realized what happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them, they were delicious. The parade was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your actions, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroyed stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, nobody tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> We're all really excited to you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor. Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. <laughs> Plus, what a terrible first impression. Barney, not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? Uh, I ran over Mary by accident. <laughs> yeah, that was really painful. <laughs> Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. <laughs> it's, uh, doing my best to like keep all these voices intact. It's very, very difficult. Do this for you, all of you. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the party out on the snoot. Once again, an incredible, incredible game.
Oh, oh, we're wearing our hat. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be more post-credit scenes here. I really hope that this trend continues after every Frog Detective game, that there's just some dance sequence with every character. <laughs> Look at the deer in the background! <laughs> that one! <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, get it, Frog Detective, get it! <laughs> what a parade. What a beautiful parade. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game. Let's see what uh, what do we got post credit scene? What Marvel post credit scene we have? <laughs> it reveals the third game. <laughs> oh, a little bit later. I got an achievement. Snitch. <laughs> ah, we're back. I love my little notebook. It's so cute. Look at all those stickers. Oh, be there in a second. I gotta take a look at my new picture. Absolutely incredible. All right, is this the commissioner? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Supervisor, I'll give the wrong name every time. Detective. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I'm aware. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mystery's a solver. Never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. So glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> Didn't you get extorted earlier? <laughs> yes, I think that's a crime. <laughs> I suppose that crime is real after all. <laughs> your, office called, uh, your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. It's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Ooh, super duper. Just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. Sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need a backup for this one. <gasps> like who? Going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. <gasps> really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me flush. <laughs> You'll be A-OK. -okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone, it's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Wow. Wow, we're going to the train station. What am I going to find there? The mystery? Oh, after the detective has left. <gasps> oh, that's the band that we just saw. No, Lobster Cop. Is Lobster Cop going to be in here? Trying to ruin us? We left our notes! Not the notes! <laughs> Who's that hand? Look like a little piggy. What is happening? <laughs> Later at the station. Oh, okay, okay, we're still going. We're still going. Uh, the jump scare with that music. <clears throat> <laughs> the worm operator. <laughs> I love him. Why is the music so loud here?
The detective will return in... Corruption at Cowboy County! Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh man, what a game. What a game. I assume that's it. Assume that's officially it. Or is it? Only time will tell. Oh! That's it. Well then, that was Frog Detective 2 in the case of the invisible wizard. Happened to be a frog just like us all this time. I'm loving it. I'm loving these, uh, these games. I, I, I'm glad that these are on Game Pass because I've been interested in playing them for a while and I just, just never got a chance to. And, uh, I mean, if it, whether you like Game Pass or not, it does a great, great job at, like, making it very easy to just pick up games and to play them. Um, so just seeing that this was on Game Pass, I was like, oh yeah, I'll download it and then, uh, record, play some of this whenever I get the chance. Uh, as opposed to, like, going on Steam, doing a purchase, like, intentionally downloading and playing it. Uh, Game Pass is just a lot easier, <laughs> in, in a way. To a little bit more um, casual in playing games because you're not dedicating like this, this game obviously deserves the money 100% but uh, for a game like like you may not have ever heard of Frog Detective and saw it on Game Pass and you're like oh that looks interesting anyway this is not an ad for Game Pass enough of that <laughs> but anyway what a great adventure got a lot of detecting done and we saw this crazy crazy mystery Wrong button! <laughs> Solved this crazy, crazy mystery. Found out that the wizard was the one who did it all along, and the crime isn't real. <laughs> now, I'm very excited to check out the third game here in this little series. Excited for you all to come along here with me. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like. What's that? The like button? <laughs> hit that like button. <laughs> What am I doing with my hand? Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> I'd love to hear any thoughts and feelings from y'all on this one. How do I deal with these voices? You like these ones? You like the first ones better? Curious. See how uh, part three is going to be. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification. Now we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. If you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of the socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things. Always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's go.